to look at him, man. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Another bean update. They're looking strong. Middle of June. Kevin came and sprayed all the weeds in between there, so they're looking good. Our first summer project on the 80 was creating a better access route to our north clover plot. The plot still has a long way to go, but it's greatly improved from last year. All right, just made it to our north clover plot. Now we're just doubling back. This is gonna be great access come the fall. Nate, go ahead. July 14th, we're down in the 80. It's been a long time since we've been here, um, almost a month. So beans are up to the waist about, and that's awesome. Um, Thomas and I have already put in a lot of work this morning. We did, we finished up our access on the north side of the property, getting that clover plot. And then we're gonna go grab, grab some food, check some trail cameras, and then we need to go figure out some some spots for the southeast area on this property where I killed my buck this last season. Because we haven't done much to that area because it's a good bedding area, but we know we want a different tree for this next season. So we're gonna go look around there a little bit and find a good spot. If we kill Freddy Krueger this year, it's gonna be because of this this day this plan. We think we're going to get a tree stand up in this tree. It is going to take some work to clear out this area. We've got Osage, Osage, locusts, honey locusts, um, that are going to have to be out of here. But this is Freddy's corridor. We were getting kicks just day after day, mid-November of him rolling right through here. This is a merger of two paths that he'd come up, he'd either come up right here or he'd come up down this. Um, our camera was right, just right down here. We were just constantly getting pictures of them. This, we'll be able to access really easily from the road, just straight in here, right up the tree. Um, so I'm gonna cut some stuff with the Hoyman and then we're gonna have to come back with some fresh blades and we'll take out that tree, that tree, a couple big branches in here, but this is, this is where we're gonna get our shot.
So we added another layer of Egyptian wheat um, that goes further down our bean plot because we noticed there's a big gap that was easily seen from the road. And this last year, road hunters weren't really a thing, um, but you never know. So um, we just like this cover behind us. It's basically, you could drive along this road and not know there's any bean plot back here, which is exactly what we want. Watching big whitetails over a bean plot is every hunter's dream, but we've never been lucky enough to see any big deer while doing it. With trail cam activity beginning to increase, we thought we might have a chance tonight. beans waist high Alright guys, so we're uh, taking off this top line of barbed wire fence here. Just taking clips and staples off posts. Um, we're going to try and make this more wildlife friendly. Uh, just, you know, when animals are jumping over and things like that. Um, we're either going to replace it with a no barbed wire line or leave it off. We're still trying to decide, but, and we're still trying to decide on the bottom line too. But for now we're just getting, getting this line loose so we can spool it back in. So. We are uh, excited to do this little project. It's something that's super tangible, super easy for landowners to do. Just make sure your fences are somewhat animal friendly. I know some people have livestock and stuff like that, but if it's just a hunting property, I mean, put no trespassing signs on and make it, make it friendly for animals. I mean, it'll probably help your hunting. I mean, you wouldn't want animals to be getting stuck up on it or nothing. So we cannot take this idea as our own though. This is our buddy Kevin's idea. So props to him. It always cracks me up. We had a comment on our YouTube channel, um, actually on a Facebook post that uh, we are high fence hunting. Um, I know people always like to, if they see a big buck and immediately think they high fence, but no, this would actually be considered low fence hunting. Um, most of the fences on our property are pretty much nothing. Um, this fence along the road was the only decent one. And uh, 
we're getting rid of the top one. So technically we are low fence hunting. All right, <clears throat> I'm down on our north clover plot. Um, today, I have the backpack sprayer with me with some clethodum in it and water. And I'm gonna give this plot a good spray because it's been getting a lot of sunlight, a lot of rain, and there's some grass and some weeds popping through. So I'm gonna spray it, try to kill some of those weeds so that clover stays really strong right here. We uh, worked it pretty hard today, what do you think? Yeah, it was a good day of work. Got a lot of work done, a lot of trees cut down. Opened up some ground for some sunshine. Yeah. What else do we do? Put a tree stand up. This is the fullest day we've had in a while. Lots of work. Take it or leave it. A lot of hunters believe in annual patterns. We fall in that group. We've had deer show up in the exact same spot just on the exact same date a year later. We're hoping the same thing happens with, with this dear Freddy that we're chasing. Alright, it's August 6th, we're back. We heard two days ago doing a lot of clearing in this area. We didn't quite have time to set the stands, so we're going to set stands. Um, right here in what we call Freddy's Corridor, where he is a lot in November. And then we're going to head south and do some food plot work on a new plot we have plans for. All right, for the second half of the day, we have worked a ton on this new food plot location that we're gonna get in before the fall. Um, what we're doing now is, this is full of about four gallons of water. We're gonna mix in some Roundup and spray all this area to kill all the grass. We sprayed it two days ago as well, and it's starting to die. Next time we come down here in a week or so, it should all be dead and we'll bring our DR mower, make it all nice. Um, for Kevin, then he's going to come down, put some things in that survive really easily since it'll be its first year, and then we'll just see how it turns out this fall. We'll keep the feeder where it's at, and we'll be getting Spartan pictures of whatever comes and eats in it. So, gonna add some add some glyphosate here to the to the water mix. timber in this area. Um, we finished up hanging the stand over in Freddy's Corridor just south of our bean plot and uh, that stand is going to be money and then we came over here 
And this is going to be our south food plot. We've never done a food plot in this south area. Um, just looking at it, it was already kind of a natural open area. But just like anything on this Kansas City, we had to remove some timber. I'll show you kind of what we did. Took out trees along there. Took out some trees over here. Got a bunch of burn piles along here. So when I'm dropping this much timber, we uh, we have to pile it in strategic areas. So we think about areas that deer aren't gonna travel, areas that can help deer from scenting us. Um, so we strategically place our big piles of tree limbs where we don't want deer to travel. All right, everybody, it is August 12th, probably our last time uh, that we're gonna be down here until season's open on September 14th. We're gonna cut this food plot that's in our south area, um, and then Kevin's gonna come in in a couple hours and um, no-till some, some basic clover and, and peas and rye and random stuff like that. So it should be a really good day, really simple. We're only gonna be here for a couple hours. Um, trail cam activity, Activity has been a little slower. I think they're just transitioning from their summer. I don't know, starting to check out different scrapes and things like that. So it's been slow, but hopefully it'll start picking up as season get closer. We uh, sprayed everything last time and all the grass has died. So Tom's just gonna go over with the DR mower and I'll probably be cutting some more trees uh, to get some more sunlight. But this is hopefully gonna be an awesome plot. Finally, food plots are in and the summer sun is setting. The work we needed to accomplish is done. The second season on the Kansas 80 is just days away. Hunting season, it's here. Well, not yet, but we are gonna be stepping on that property the next time, hopefully ready to hunt bucks. We have put in an incredible amount of work in this off season. We were just talking that it's we thought we did a lot last year. We did a decent amount, but we outdid ourselves this year. This summer, we just put in work, really thought out of the box with management stuff, and just got it done. So just got done doing our last two fall plots, and so now we're just getting the hands off the property and letting the deer come back because we've been really working it hard the last 
week, basically. So, Thompson and I are super excited for the best season ever. That's basically it. <laughs>